What's up, guys? How are we all doing? My name is Gary, and I am a, a contractor, a, a farming contractor, and I am looking to set up a a small business here in the West Coast. So, I've been sort of uh, scouring the papers for, um, need to turn here I think, yes, oh, well I've been scouring the papers for, um, a small homestead and, um, with some land, um, attached and maybe somewhere um so i can park some equipment so we are going to head down into the town here at west coast this tractor's a bit big for these roads to be honest but uh make it nice and easy so we're going to head into town we're going to go and meet a gentleman down there well i will go and meet a gentleman down here and um, he's going to give me some um, paperwork for a an area what we can um, go and have a look at, see if it's um, see if it's suitable for what we need. So I've been on the road for a very long time now. So I'm looking to uh, find somewhere to um, <coughs> stretch my legs. So, oh, oh, hang on a minute. Aha. Well, guys, nature calls. So, I am just going to pop out <clears throat> and um, do this. And then I'll, I'll be back um, with you very, very shortly. Obviously, I'm not going to take my GoPro in there. Speak to you in a moment. Right then, here we go. Right, that's definitely feels a lot better now. I can uh, don't want to be jumping around. So I just thought while we're here, I'll just show you my tractor. What I've got here, um, got the John Deere the 6210R, and uh, very it's a bit of a beast of a machine. Really? You wait. Oh dear, they, I think they're waiting to come. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I'll tell you a bit more about about me tractor later but let's head down for some reason they didn't want to uh... either come past or whatever they pulled over for me that's all there we go right We need to be going right at this roundabout. But we will get gonna head into town. And there's a little B and B. Where we going to um Meet up and uh, pick up the paperwork for this for this little yard. It is very tiny, but I am only looking at bringing over um, some of the equipment that I that I have because I I don't have a lot. Um, I don't have a lot of equipment, um, but I've got enough to keep going. Um, I've heard. That there is a there is a call for it here at the west coast a bit of contracting work um especially down at the sheep and pig farm which we have just passed um they do a lot of contracting work apparently so um that's always handy to 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 know and uh look at that sun is bright today um so yeah we're going to uh, hopefully set up a nice little nice little business here and um, 
the the main farm here on on west coast they do some contracting work um but they tend to lean lease the equipment with the with the job as such um so that's something we're definitely going to look into um but you know i have a flatbed trailer um which we can go and grab some um you know some pallets or some bags and stuff like that this looks to be the B and B, which is like a pub, but I'm going to try and actually I can get my tractor in here. Bit of a tight squeeze in here, to be honest. But let's use. Uh, we'll, we'll throw 40p in. We better throw in. We better throw in a bit more than that because we're going to take up more than more than one space. If we can park up as close to this wall as possible, we might not take up too much space. Oh, I can't park here because I've got to try and get out. There we go. They're not going to be very happy with me, I don't think, but I shouldn't be too long. So let's go and throw some money in and get a ticket. Right, there we go. That's the ticket all in. Lock her up. Not too bad, actually. Oh, we're in the white lines. Ish. That doesn't look out of place there at all, does it? So, right then. I'm going to go and find this, um, find this guy. And uh, pick up the paperwork for what we need. Right then, guys. We have picked up the paperwork. And um, I did, I, I asked the, the, the um, I did ask the bloke. I said, anywhere nice so I can just go and grab some, like a, a breakfast butty or a breakfast roll or something. And he said, go down and see David on the beach. I thought well, that's a bit strange, but look at this, guys. Look at this. This is awesome. Such a lovely view. And uh, I've just been speaking to David, and uh, he's, a, he's a very nice gentleman. And um, I've had me breakfast, me breakfast roll. He's there every day, if that's what we want to do. If we're ever passing, he said, pop in. Uh, so we've got, this is the this is the street here as well. So we've got the fuel station over here, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping if the, um, cut through here again. Um, if the, the place where we're going to go and look at is big enough. We're going to have a um, fuel fuel um, installed, and we're going to grab some, make sure that we can get some electricity to it, and so on. So there we go. Right. So let's head down. Let's go and check out this piece of land. Yeah, the roads are a lot smaller than I was expecting them to be, or narrower. So, and this is a bit of a beast of a tractor, to be honest. But, so, it's just down here. Got a turn left. It's actually signposted at the moment as um, a sugar beet store. Um, but, um, the um, the owners said that there's no, there's no real call for, for it anymore. They've got a, they've got a bigger store. Um somewhere else now so that's why they're selling the selling the the land but it does come with a small he did say <laughs> small uh here we go sugar beet storage there we go yes a small uh, a small house as well so i am curious to go and see this this sounds ideal ideal for me I don't need a lot of space. I'm going to be working a lot of the time. Um, so hopefully. This seems to be it. This is it just here. We could beat storage. There we go. Doesn't look too bad at all, actually. It's probably I've gonna I'm gonna have to do some work here. 
Definitely going to have to do some work here. This shed has probably seen better days, but might be able to salvage something out of that. That's going to have to go for a start. These, we can probably get rid of these as well. We don't lose. So this is where they used to store the beet, obviously. But we can use this as a... Um, an area for, um, you know, I can maybe maybe put a shed up, possibly. If I can, if I can get hold of one or someone to do it. But all these tyres are going to have to go, that's for sure. And um, I will either bring down my, my, my tipper trailer and we'll go and dispose of these properly. Um, or we'll get a disposal team in to come and take them away. Obviously, we can't can't burn them or anything. They need to be proper re recycled or even sold. Actually, um, I do know that people use these in their gardens. They'll stack three or four high and then um, fill them full of dirt and use them and paint them up and use them as um, like plant, um, yeah, uh, flower pots kind of thing, plant holders. So you never know. We might we might. Be able, to, be able to get some money and sell some of these. But these plank or log holders, they're going to have to go. I'm not going to be doing, have any need for those whatsoever. You have a little porter cabin though, that could be handy. But I would want that moved, I think. A bit direct in front of the... Yeah. So... Everything's still up for sale as well, so the for sale sign is still up. And apparently, just over in the distance there, we can see the house. Earth is that? Oh, we have the train line going past here as well. That's pretty cool, I like that. I like that. So, yes, so this, this whole field here as well comes comes in the price as well it's, it's it's looking pretty good it is looking pretty good I think it's ideal for what I want so this is the little house that comes with it now we have to be a bit careful here because they are actually still living here um, but I have knocked and sort of said that is it okay just have a quick look round I don't really care what the inside looks like. I can I can gut that and do what I need to do with that. Um, but it is literally one bedroom, living room, and a bathroom. But they have a log store around the side here. Good. Um, the washing washing is out. But this is it. This is it. We don't need anything else. It's perfect. It really is perfect for what we need. Um, but uh, they're having problems with their gate or something. Their gate is stuck, so we have to jump it. There we go. So this is it. That's gonna. That hopefully is gonna be our 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 house. But there is enough. Um. There is enough space here for me to maybe take down some trees and uh, if I wanted to have a bigger a bigger place to live, then I could. So let's get back to the tractor then and let's go and uh, sum up and see what we're going to do. Right then, so I have just had another little walk around, check the paperwork. Now, so we get the house, we get the land, we get the yard here. Port cabin is included and that is everything this is why i have came and i have had to have a look all of this i want a quick sell all of it is a little over a hundred grand now i say that's cheap think about what we're getting 
a house for a start. It's only a one bedroom. But look at the land. The land al alone. And this area here which we can which we can put on. Which we can build onto. There's a lot of a, a lot of area here. Um, you know, and there is there's room there's a, a room to expand. If I wanted to, you know, I can push out a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna have to. I think what I'm gonna do is um we're gonna have a shed down the end there, I think. And we'll move the porter cabin probably over behind this hedge here somewhere. And then we can have some maybe another like an open store here possibly. Um, because what I'm planning on doing, because we have this great big meadow here, what I'm thinking about doing is, um, opening up and, um, doing, um, grass and hay, um, bales, um, and then uh, maybe selling them to the local farms, possibly, um, if there's any... Any, any call for it or you know just in anyone passing if they've got um, they need any any grass or or hay we can um, always uh, deliver as well so it's another little bit to do to, to think about so I think that's what we're probably going to end up doing so I'll have to bring me mowers down and uh, we'll get all this we'll get this mowed up and uh, and uh, make a start with that but first things first we need to um, start thinking about doing a little bit into into here. So um, I'm going to go and make some phone calls and uh, see if we can start get the uh, get the ball rolling. Um, is there electric? There must be electric to that house. So it, it might not be too bad. Is there another house in the vicinity anywhere? Another one over there. So we are in direct line. So this must be the must be power power lines here, which is which is really handy if it is because then we can possibly bring in we can bring a power line across here. Then we can have we can have power here because I don't think there must be. I would say this was run. Oh, I reckon there's a generator in there. Or they've had a generator, possibly, and I reckon that's what was run here because there's no lighting or nothing up here. Let's be using the the lighthouse at <laughs> night times to see every now and again. Every time the light, the every time the lighthouse went round, get some work done, get some work done. But right, so guys, that is the rundown of what's going to be happening. So as I said, these signs are going to need to change because we're not going to be doing sugar beet. So I'll change these. I'll change these to um, my um, my uh, business name. I think we'll just have some signs put up there, and uh, we'll see how we'll see how it all goes. But um, I think, guys, for now though, there's my little introduction. There's my intro, and uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the yard. Let me know if you're gonna, if you think I should do anything else, anything else to it, and I'll, I'll I will vlog as much as possible. Um, but for now, guys, that's gonna be it for me. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to please leave a like and share the video. Don't forget to go and subscribe to Gamer Dragon, as um it's his channel that um these vlogs will be uploaded to. So go and give him a like and uh, and a subscription and um show your appreciation over there because I really appreciate him um allowing me to to do my vlogs and put them onto onto his channel but as i said guys that's going to be it for me i do hope you've enjoyed thank you for watching and i'll speak to you all in the next one cheers then take care